The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission became the subject of discussion during a consultative conference organized by the Conrad, a German NGO that champions for democracy as participants who included the parliamentarians said it was the right time to restructure the electoral body. National Assembly Speaker Justin Moturi said already a proposal on how to select the new IBC commissioners was before parliament. But of course, it is just that a legislative proposal. Indeed, the joint committee reduced the number of commissioners from nine to seven. Uh, Honorable Kaluma proposes to further reduce the number of commissioners to five. Senate Majority Leader Kipchumba Morkomen said the time for the country to seek ways on how to replace the commissioners who resigned was now. Remarks supported by the National Assembly Speaker. But the question I want to ask all of you, is there anyone who agrees here that the next election should be, the chair of IBC should remain uh, uh, Chebukati? Yes. And the question is why? The biggest thing for Kenyans to do for us to take off is to make sure that we have free and fair elections, that after those elections, my, my learned friend, Mr. Murkumen, we can shake hands and say, my brother, you won. Within the context of this topic of rethink democracy, for us to seriously look at that institution. And I think, as Honorable Murkumen has said, this is the appropriate time. <laughs> Elsewhere, women seeking political leadership positions have a reason to smile after the Eco Network Africa came up with a financial kitty to assist them. Eco Network Africa CEO Dr. Jennifer Reria said the kitty, dubbed Democracy Trust Fund, will help the aspirants save enough ahead of the general elections. What the fund wants to do, first and foremost, is to get women participating in creating their own resources. In this way, they should save. We shall provide them with a safe place where they can save. Every woman knows how much money they require for whatever position that they are, they, they are aspiring to do, to, to get. The fund will be launched tomorrow, Wednesday. Samson Kitavi, Channel One, News.